Alright, so today I'm going to play a game that has been a big one that I've been waiting for uh, for a while. The Banner Saga 3. For those of you who don't know what the Banner Saga is, it mixes excellent visual novel style storytelling, uh, a beautiful art style, which you can see it's designed to look like uh, Disney in the 1950s, uh, 60s era, whenever they tried to make their animation look as realistic as possible. Um, it also has a really cool Viking uh, story with its own mythology and stuff. It's just a really awesome story. We're going to go ahead and watch the recap because this is the third one. This is also one of the few games I've seen that takes the Mass Effect approach and allows you to import your saves from uh, previous games. When the sun suddenly stopped in the sky, calamity followed. Stone-armored dredge poured out of the north. A darkness bled across the land, and a world-devouring serpent carved chasms in search of Beautiful. something. The races of men and Val fled south in vast caravans, dealing with the dredge general Bellower and the treachery of Borsgard's governor, Rugga, to eventually arrive at the human capital of Arborang. Rugga's scheming and old rivalries with the king of Arborang poisoned their chances for safety. Can they restore the peace before the city turns on itself? Juno and Ivan, powerful spellweavers who claim they can turn back the darkness, continued on to the Valka libraries where a terrible confrontation left Manahar in ruin. The Spellweavers now have no choice but to push into the darkness itself, protected only by a spell of light and a reluctant crew of mercenaries. Will they be able to drive away the darkness before all of Arborang and humanity is swallowed up? And at what cost? One way or another, the saga comes to a close. Okay, so that was the recap, just kind of getting you caught up on what is going on. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit New Game. We're going to import a save game. We were as far from safety as we could have been. Me, Rook, and Alette, in a small town of Skor. Ivor is one of my favorite characters. So much has changed since then. We traveled the length of the world to escape serpents and dredge. And still it was not enough. What I do now is madness. Somewhere in the darkness, I've been told, lurks an answer to all our desperate questions. I will make sure it sees the light of day. All I care about now is that the friends... No. The family I fought to deliver to Arborang lived to see the sun move again. We actually, I don't think, had got to hear Ivor speak before this. And... Ooh, that was nice. So here we are at Arborang. Okay, looks like I'm getting an achievement. Alright, oddly, she's a nice little archer. I guess I could uh, try to do voices for you. Already? How? You're exhausted. Though the king has given you sanctuary in Abraham, came with a condition. Do your part to repel the siege at the walls. The siege being waged not by dredge, but a man you helped escape from Borsgard. Rugga. Rugga's loyalists are already back, and they've got a battering ram. Yeah, by the way, Rugga is a piece of shit. I uh, just, just want to say that right now. Uh, he stabs you in the back 
more for like power type concerns and it's like hey there's an apocalypse on shouldn't we worry about that but he, he he's determined to be a bastard Rook, are you alright? I'm fine, I'm just tired. Me too, I'm starting to wonder if getting here was the easy part. What a miserable thought. There's thousands of refugees here, but there's only one reason they're waging a war. Rugger. That man poisons everything he touches. He's tried to take the throne of Avarang before, the rumor goes. I almost can't blame the king for leaving him to the crows. But the rest of them don't deserve to suffer for it. You hear a chorus of shouts from the gates, and a resounding creaking of wood. Avarang's guards rush to their stations. They've broken through the front gate. Hurry, we can't let him get a foothold. So, we get to choose who is in our squad. Alright, so Rook is the main character. Uh, it's actually optional if it is Rook. It could be his daughter. It just kind of depends on, well, frankly, who survived. As dark as that may sound. So, I'm not a big fan of these horse individuals. and They're, they're like literal horse people. See? Centaurs of sorts. Yeah, they're called Horseborn. Not a big fan of them or their abilities for the most part. Varl are my my real favorites. These guys are great. Um, who was it I liked more? Was it Gris? Or Mogur? I think I like Mogur. And then... Let's see who else yeah honestly the humans not a big fan of uh, rook obviously is good Eric is also good because he gets a fucking bear so if he doesn't get a bear in this game he's gonna quickly get out of my rotation but uh, I don't really have time to explain everybody's character because they all do have backstories which are very interesting but for the time being we're just gonna focus on leveling them all up So mark prey and call to arms. So you have uh, this uh, renown, and that's what you use to actually promote your characters. And so it's probably going to be a good idea for me to promote. Actually, Rook is already level 9. He's going to be the highest level 1. So I think we're going to go ahead and promote uh, Haken. Haken is the uh, new king of the Varl. The Varl are basically, uh, basically Jotun, or Giants. Uh, they're pretty, pretty kick-ass looking dudes. Alright, so I can increase the stats. Let's see, what, what is this stat again? Willpower is, uh, spent too much fruit. Okay, so here are most of the stats. Not too important, really. You're more here for the story. Uh, so let's just go ahead and, go ahead and put that in there. So then let's go ahead and do exploit. And then am I able to promote him again? Alright, no, I don't have enough for now. So we'll just go ahead and confirm that. And then head back. And I guess this is going to be good enough. Kind of tempted to replace Oddleaf with uh, Gris. But we probably have enough wall on the uh, team. So let's go ahead and just ready up. So combat is grid based. It's really cool. I, once again, I cannot sing the praises of this franchise enough. I'm really excited to see how it ends because this is kind of the finale. Come quick, they're nearly through. Okay, so.
So this is going to block my path. So that's one of the disadvantages of Varl, is they are big boys. And so they sometimes get blocked by these things. Why is he already damaged? So they have two health bars, essentially. So there's the red health bar, which is your vitality. If that drops down, you're dead. Doesn't matter what the other one is. And then the other one is armor. So most attacks are going to hit your armor first. And then hit your uh, health. But there's also attacks that will skip that. Alright, so let's go ahead and ready up. Who are we playing as right now? We're playing as Rook. So Rook has a bow. Let's go ahead and let's take this one down. You're also able to exert willpower to kind of do bonus actions. Something that might you might not have the willpower for. Alright, and then I still get the bear, so. Awesome. By the way, the bear was totally optional. It was a optional way to actually Uh, go ahead and complete the objective. There was a fight where there was a bear attacking us, of course. And so instead of killing the bear, which was an option, I was able to instead uh, capture the bear. And I was able to do that simply because I had Eric in my team. If I did not bring Eric, that would not have been an option, and Eric would have never got that super awesome upgrade. Why are you wailing on my bear? Let's go ahead and let him rest. He can't, he can't move a lot. Man, you're just destroying my poor bear. Everybody's abilities do. Because it's been a little bit since I played the Banner Saga 2. Okay, so this guy is not so nice. Okay, let's go ahead and move here. Go ahead and take that down. Break this guy's cover, force him to kind of move out. We definitely want to focus on the archer quickly. Jeez. My poor bear, man. What did my bear ever do to them? Alright, and so then you can also choose to kind of focus on the armor more or the health. So like right now I'm only going to do one health damage, but I'm going to do three armor damage. So it's a better idea for me to focus on that armor. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a lot of willpower in that and do 6 damage. And my bear is dead. My bear didn't get to do anything. Gnulf is one of my favorites also. Once again, I already had a team kind of put together that I really liked, so it's nice to uh, go back to that. So he has a nice little spin move. It's all about using a broadsword. Alright, let's get Haken up here. Let's tear that down. So, as you can see, there's Tar here, and I'm going to assume that if a fire attack of some kind hits that, then uh, it would have some kind of devastating effect. Don't know that for certain. Okay, so 
this guy's getting messed up. He's only got two health. So now I can probably go ahead and finish him off with Rook. Got a nice little crit in there, not like it mattered. Let's go ahead and hit him with the axe. Go ahead and use Tempest again. Again, this is my nice little spin move. Ooh, he is feeling it. So she's got a move where she can actually shoot from much further away. And will do direct damage. Did not do very much though, I have to say, that's kind of disappointing. Oh, so I got hit by the trap, so that interrupts my action. Which is tedious, to say the least. Let's go ahead and move him here. And then we're just going to go ahead and attack this guy and take him down. down. Another thing that is important to look at is who goes next. So this gentleman right here is going to go next. So he's honestly going to be the guy that I kill next. Oh, wasn't paying attention. Now he has one health. Oh, apparently he wasn't. They look very, very similar. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take this guy down. He only has offensive based abilities, no, uh, no type of rally the troops type stuff. So, let's go ahead and take down the Spearman. Rook, obviously, is a very powerful character. Troops. I think I am playing on a reduced difficulty, though, uh, to be honest. Actually, I didn't select a difficulty at the beginning of this, so... Who knows? They threw everything at the... They threw everything at this assault, hoping to surprise Eberron's tired guards and get a battering ram through. It almost worked, if not for you. The enemy pulls back, leaving you amongst the groans of wounded and dying. That spineless bastard, Aubrey sobs. She kneels over the body of a boy someone slapped a helmet onto, one of Ruggus fighters, but far too young. Today was probably the first time he ever held a sword. And the last. No more, she swears, dashing off toward uh, Rugga's war tent across the battlefield. 
they're treating a tired enemy or slow to respond. Aw, oh, stop! You shout to deaf ears. The others give you a quick look before chasing after, expecting the worst. So, Oddleaf, uh, just so you know, uh, at the very beginning of the game, we're actually part of a caravan of various other groups that have all just banded together just trying to survive this apocalypse. And Rook, Oddleaf, and the mayor all of the original village all lived together, and Oddleaf was actually the wife of the mayor, or uh, Jarl, or whatever he was. The leader, essentially. And he was killed in the retreat, or either shortly thereafter. And depending on how you play things, the, of course I played them this way, Oddleaf and Rook can have a little bit of a romantic entanglement. Oddleaf is kind of a, uh, a guiding hand for you. So let's go ahead, let's ready up for battle, and let's see how this one goes. Hopefully we don't have the same amount of health as we did from the last battle, because if so, this battle is not going to last very long. Rugga, you coward. Face us yourself. If you wanted to talk, you could have asked. Someone call the others. Protect Rugga. Alright, so there's that fire I was talking about. Okay, so I don't want you over here. Let's go ahead and get some heavy damage done to this archer real quick. I like to come out swinging, just big time. Do the damage. Alright, and then let's go ahead and call the bear. Hopefully the bear doesn't die like instantly and I don't even get to hardly use them like last time. As you can see the animation is just beautiful in this game. I love it. I love the way it looks. Love everything about it. Actually, let's go ahead and do some armor damage. This guy. Let's really rake in that damage. Alright, so she's gonna shoot somebody. Ah, she's setting a trap. Okay, this dude needs to move. Away from the fire. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not going to do very much damage with that one, but I needed to get him away from the fire, so that's what's important. I can't tell who's on fire and who's not. Ooh, ooh, ooh beautiful crit. Jesus, there's so much fire, it is hard to tell what is going on. Alright, and then have her finish her off. Bye-bye. We probably should have ranked somebody up using the renown that we got from the previous battle. Okay, so it looks like Mogur may have to walk through the flames. If it wouldn't cost me money, I'd play through the five and play. Ooh, Jesus! Ow! So it may just be moving through the flames that actually really does the damage. Uh, let's go ahead and go this way. Mark Prey. Oh, no. uh, yeah. It's just in turn. Alright, so he took, took a little bit of damage. Ooh. Go ahead and knock his shield way down. We don't want it him having any armor. Okay, so things are not looking good for Moger. Let's 
go ahead, get that Tempest going. Max that out. Do a lot of damage. And my bear is dead. Alright. Patient, go ahead and finish this gentleman off. Hopefully, sweet. He didn't go after him. Hopefully she can get a crit. No crit. Things aren't looking good for Rook either. Alright, so Moger has no no uh no. Oh. oh man. So Moger is down uh sometimes there actually is a chance for permadeath. Go ahead. He has no shields now, so we should be able to hit him just fine. Yeah, see? Don't gotta do any bonus stuff. Do 12 damage. Alright, let's go ahead and let's actually head over here and focus on them. Let's imagine he can take them down. Oh, she took a little bit of damage. Going to. Oh yeah, my dog is in here. Come here, I need you for views. Oh, come here. What are you doing? Can you wave for the camera? Can you wave? Can you wave for the camera? Give me a hug. Okay. I'll let you out in a minute. Why don't you just go back and lay down? Okay, so she has seven health, so I'm not gonna do a whole hell of a lot of damage to her. Ooh, only a 40% chance to hit. Let's go ahead and do armor damage. Oh, is Gnolf dead too? They killed Gnolf? You bastards! Back up. You're, you're pretty wounded. Just sit back. Let's let Eric just take her down. Boom. Alright, so some characters do get injured. I want to say that means that they have status debuffs. And either have to fight it off or they can't fight for a little bit. I do need to reduce the difficulty a little bit um, because I am not a big fan of high difficulty. I'm here for the story. I am not here to punish myself. Tense interior has become a gruesome mix of blood and ash. Put your blades away, shouts Rugga, held by the throat. I am beaten. He smirks. Suspicion washes over you like a bursting. I certainly hope the king shows his full gratitude for your heroics. Uh, let's take the high road on the high ground. Tell your men to clear a path to the gates. Rugga waves his hand as men bristle around you like thorn trees. At the gates of Aberrain, guards clap Rugga in chains and you wait. You spend a long silent period with Oddleaf. I'd do it again, she finally whispers, referring to a reckless attack on Rugga's tent. Hours later a message arrives. Gates are slowly drawn open, uh, to your great surprise. 
King Minolf decrees an end to this fighting. He welcomes all refugees into this city. Shouts a man in a man. <laughs> Shouts a man in Aberrant's colors. But as captain of the guard, I warn you, do not test his generosity. I don't know what accent I'm going for for this guy. Aleo wonders not. Welcomes. After all this killing? Okay, and so here's where we kind of get a moment to tone things down a little bit. Uh, you know, we're able to visit the shops, so there's the gate. Uh, okay, it looks like we're not actually able to do those things right now. Where's the save button? See, and we're also able to hit the map. Let's take a look around at the beautiful artwork for one. Oh, excuse me. So this is a map of the world. As you can see, it is very tattered, very damaged, it's kind of reflecting what's going on right now. Let's see if we can find Abarang real quick. We probably started off on it, but... Anyways, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, I'll probably start recording again immediately, but for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. This is a nice stopping point, and we're going to go ahead and uh, share this. So, I'm the Hardcore Casual Gamer. As always, stay awesome, folks. We'll see you next time, and please leave a like and subscribe.